All of us goes to toilets and uses toilet paper. But have you ever wondered how it is made? And the main thing from what? You won't believe it, we went to factory that produces toilet paper and now we'll show you everything. Everything starts from garbage. The paper garbage that most responsible people sort and throw to take waste paper collection points. Then a huge car with tons of paper brings it to the factory. But first comes a special scale that weights the car with paper and specially trained woman calculates how much paper has been brought. Near the factory lie whole mounds of different paper. There are books, newspapers, election campaigns and even school diaries with two. We went to fairly technological plants where the paper from the machine unloads such a fast and small tractor. Then another tractor puts this paper on the ribbon on which it rises and under the control of workers is dumped into a huge barrel of water. Inside there is a special aggregator which steered it to all state of liquid, let's say mashed potatoes from paper. Further, porridge of paper goes through several stages of cleaning in order to completely get rid of the all unnecessary objects and substances and get, let's say, clean product. After which the most interesting thing happens. Under pressure the mass is squeezed through a narrow and long slot forming a wet paper tape. And at the same time, perhaps by some vacuum method, most of the water is sucked out of the paper from the little sands. Everything moves so fast and paper in this case somehow goes not burst. Near the factory we found a lot of wood and wood waste. It turns out that this waste ignites the huge boiler which warms the water and resulting stream through the pipes directs into the huge drum. Our steel wet paper passing through this hot drum is heated according to that and output we get already full toilet paper. But we can't use it yet, as it wrapped on huge rolls. It seems to me that in one such real wrap just miles of tons of paper. The first roll goes further and special uncles watch the second roll, just like Japanese from our video about Japan. Since the roll is heavy and the workers don't want to carry it by hand, it's loaded on the platform with a crane and goes to two aunties who pack it in cellophane. Later the rolls are transported to another workshop and unwound to rewind them but already on reels with the usual size of a roll of a toilet paper. Another device in the meantime unwinds the label or wrapper of toilet paper, puts glue on it. The roll is released and rolling on the table cleverly winding on itself. A couple of seconds roll on special rolls so that the label is sure to be well glued and released further on the conveyor. It rolls on numerous moving shelves and at the same time dried adhesive on the labels. Next the rolls are collected in the wheel brown and placed in the cutting machine which with the help of cutting this cleverly cuts all the rolls into pieces and as a result we get ready toilet paper which is sent to packaging and after that on the shelves of stores. Now you know how important it is to dispose the toilet paper and now you understand how long your school diary will go before returning to you in a new guise but already to performing very different functions. Write in the comments what else you're interested in and which plan to visit next time.